Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com with an iPhone app review for Zombie Swipeout by Zynga. From the makers of Zombie Smash comes another slicing game that might be better named Zombie Ninja, featuring awesome slashing gameplay but with a brutal revenue model. You're going to slice using that machete there, and it's a nasty old machete. We haven't up-leveled or increased to the next level because it costs some money. Slice the zombies and where you slice them depends on what points you get on the left and coins you want to slice all of them as well. When you slice Mark or a human, game over unless you use a rescue. In this case, it racks up 19 coins and some pathetic points. You can sleep one of your last images which can be emailed or saved to your photos for sharing. Alright, we come back. We're going to jump back into it. And once you do, start all over and slice at the right place. And you want to get combos for multiple slices or slicing in the same place. And there's a sweet spot that's going to get you some good points. And you want to get that point, those points rather. Now when you slice Mark or the human, you can use a rescue to rewind time and, well, not do that again and learn from your mistake. It does cost coins though. In this case, actually, it costs crystals. Drop a zombie, hear the horn, but keep on slicing, trying to get those combos as you see them. As they rack up, your points and your score racks up. The hand grenade is new to level 3, and it helps, but don't use it on a human. Zombie swipe out in coins, and you'll see Zynga as well. It's great to hear the awesome, and also to get the combos or the chains of combos is really where the points rack up. Get all the coins also as an additional point. You can see everything is points, points, points. As well as coins, coins, coins. And you can't earn enough of them in this game. They don't come that easy. It seems like they do, but they don't. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Again, use the grenade, but be careful not to use it when a human is around. Next level, you're going to get, I believe, some other power-up that will help you. And you'll see that. If you slice a human and you don't use a rescue, you go to death or you can choose death. Your coins rack up on the right and then your score racks up on the left to help you level up and they'll give you a little indicator there where your level is that's next there's some other power up now you'll notice that your friends can be here but you can't really play them you can gift them coins crystals to get the rescues and you can see what they cost machete which is the next one's 25,000 coins now I spent two bucks on in-app purchase and spent 99 cents on the app and I still can't afford to get that machete and I've been playing for a while the next machete up is even more expensive. It costs 500 crystals. Pretty brutal revenue model. There's another chest with more weapons in it and another chest and more chests coming. Diamonds, not crystals, and coins you can purchase, but they cost money. Again, on the right side, you'll notice that there are lightning bolts. You can only play seven times with the purchased game, the paid version, before you have to spend 2,500 coins to play again, which is basically seven games, and you got to fork out some coins that you've earned to play. You can gift each other coins on Facebook at the amount of 25 coins a day. So unless you have a thousand friends, uh, again, you can rack up some coins, but not a lot. This game has a pretty pathetic in-app purchase policy or revenue model that's not friendly to the user. That's it for this iPhone app review. Until next time, see ya.